Hi, my name's Sophie. I'm the founder of Bar and Beyond and the developer of Rocky, the rocking egg and ride on animal. I'd like to demonstrate how Rocky works. Firstly, the materials that Rocky's made of are completely safe and sustainable. The moulded egg and the animal are made from high density polyethylene. This is a food safe plastic which yogurt containers and milk containers are made from. It's recyclable and it also has no BPAs, no phthalates and no PVC. The base of the rocking egg is made from sustainably grown bamboo and so are the handles on the rocking animal. And the quilted liner within the egg is made from natural cotton, so it's a breathable fabric which is very comfortable and it's also washable. First comes the rocking egg. Rocky rocking egg is suitable from newborn until around 5 years of age or 27 kilograms. The rocking egg has a 5 point harness, so the first thing you should do when placing a baby into the rocking egg is to adjust the harness. The top strap slides onto the side strap which then clicks into the buckle. Do that on both sides and then ensure that it's a snug fit by adjusting the straps. The harness releases by pressing that button. When the child's old enough to get in and out of the egg independently, the whole harness can actually be removed by unscrewing it from the egg. The rocking egg has three positions. This first position is the flat position, which is perfect for newborns. It provides the amount of support for their head and neck that they need. And it's also just the right angle that their head is higher than their abdomen, so it's very good for them digesting their uh, milk after they've had a feed and particularly good for colicky babies because the head is a little bit higher. It's also much more interesting for a baby to have their head slightly elevated so they can see around them and be involved in their environment because if they're lying on the floor they're just staring at the ceiling which gets a little boring. Depending on how active the baby is they can rock themselves through their gentle movements or you can rock the rocking egg yourself with your hand or a gentle tap of your foot. As they get older they get better and better at, at rocking and interestingly even though rocking has been used for centuries to soothe babies recent scientific research has demonstrated that it's actually very good developmentally for children to rock because it benefits their gross motor skills their concentration and also their balance when your baby's developed a little more head control you can adjust to the middle position by moving the chair up and putting the seat shift into the middle slot. This is a comfortable and relaxed position for a child to sit in and gaze around at the world and they can rock themselves in this position quite happily. Finally you can adjust to the most upright position, adjusting in the same way and slotting it in the final slot. This position is particularly good if you start your child on solids earlier than they can sit up independently. So they may struggle to sit in a high chair and the rocking egg gives them a lot more support than a high chair. Another feature of the rocking egg is that the runners on which it rocks are inset from the edge to prevent the squashing of little fingers and toes. And it also has a non-slip surface applied so that when a child rocks in the rocking egg it doesn't creep across the floor but stays still. There may be times when you don't want the rocking egg to rock, you want the child to sit still. If that's the case, you can use this brake to keep the egg stationary. After the rocking egg comes the ride-on animal. When your baby becomes a toddler, this is a nice playful addition to the rocking egg. The animal has a curved base, so it can be used as a standalone rocker by itself. This is a great low height rocker for a small child with a nice low center of gravity. Alternatively, if your toddler wants to get mobile, you can attach wheels to the base of Rocky and then get mobile. These are 360 degree maneuverable wheels, so toddlers can have a lot of fun learning how to drive one of these. The animal can be attached to the rocking egg to provide the full-size rocky. 
In order to do this, it's necessary to either remove or simply fold back the liner. So you undo the loops at either end. They can be folded back from the edge. This reveals the twist key which is in the egg. And it's very important for the twist key to be locked so that the egg is locked to the base before the animal is placed on top. To lock the twist key, place your finger in the ring, pull, turn, and then depress into the slot. It's necessary sometimes to push the egg down towards the base slightly and then check that it has engaged by testing that the egg is firmly locked to the base. Once that's done you can attach the rocking animal. Once the twist key is in the locked position you're ready to attach the animal to the egg. So with the liner pulled away from the edge or removed you simply place the animal on top of the egg and then you pull the elastic loops down over the button to secure the animal. You have to do this front and back. And then full size Rocky is ready to go.